Hi, I'm Link from Team Counter Logic Gaming, and this is a law class beginner's guide to Twisted Fate. On Twisted Fate, I go Magic Penetration Reds, Extra Per Level Yellows, AP Per Level Blues, and Movement Speed Quints. I opt for Movement Speed Quints because TF really needs mobility and movement speed in order to land his gold cards and kite with his QW combo. This is the mastery page that I use for Twisted Fate. If you notice on the 9 utility page, however, uh, I tend to go movement speed instead of meditation because I really like the movement speed bonus. On TF, I pick up Flash and Ghost as a summoner spells because this grants the most mobility for him. My skill build for Twisted Fate is as following. At level 1, I'll always go W first. Afterwards, I'll go Q depending on if I need to use my Q to harass. Uh, sometimes I like going E if I want to conserve more mana and kind of auto-attack the wave down. But for the most part, I'll, it's always safer to go Q at level 2. TF's core items are as following. If you're going versus an AD mid, then chances are you should go Morel and Omicon first. If you are going to go versus an AP mid, then you should go Adeans first. Afterwards, you can transition into a Zonia so that you can create more plays with your ultimate and Zonias in conjunction. And following that, you should go into either a Void Staff, Rabadons, or Lich Bane, depending on what the situation asks for. TF and Solo Q is actually a really strong pick. Um, one problem he does have is his laning is a little bit on the weaker side. However, because you have so much CC and you have so much mobility with your ultimate, you're able to create picks really easily and kill the people who are kind of doing their own thing. Also, because people tend to not respect TF's ultimate that much, you're able to pick up a lot of free kills in solo queue, which is really important if you want to win the game. Playing TF in lane requires you to space really well and utilize your mobility. Uh, you have to make sure that you can get the poke off with maybe like a red card into a queue or even a gold card when they miss a spell. Uh, for the most part, you should always be playing relatively passively and not too aggressively and wait until your jungler comes so that you can set up a gank with your gold card. While you're laning, you should always pay attention to how much mana you have. If you're running low on mana, then you should spam some blue cards. However, if you're kind of relatively at around 80% mana, then you can opt to go for either a gold card or red card depending on whether you want to push or go for the guaranteed harass on the enemy mid laner. Here are some tips for TF. Number one, I suggest that you go into a custom game and practice picking up his gold cards because that's his most important card. Uh, once with practice, you'll be able to get the pattern down and the rotation down, which means that you'll be able to pick up gold cards at any time. Number two, TS first ultimate is the most important ultimate that you can ever use. It sets up the whole pace of the early to mid game transition, and if you can get a successful ulti off, especially with his long cooldown, then you'll be able to potentially snowball another lane, or even yourself. So it's really important that you're able to get this ultimate off, and you should be really careful on how you approach it, and make sure that you communicate with your team before doing it. Number three, despite TF's skill set, he actually has an incredibly large amount of damage, especially when he picks up his core items. Don't be afraid to flash forward and WQ someone, because chances are with Lich Bane and Rebidons, you'll be able to one-shot any squishy.